Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and we're less than two weeks away from the release of the first beta of the new iOS 18. What is said to be one of the biggest updates to iOS in years. And we have a lot of reports, a lot of rumors, and also a lot of confirmed features by Apple that are coming to the new iOS 18, which make this a very exciting update. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at more than 20 new features and changes that are coming to iOS 18. And we're starting with the first one, and this is automatic replies. As you probably have heard by now, iOS 18 will be big on AI features, and one of them is automatic replies. Now that will work with messages and things like emails and of course you will have the ability to actually check those replies and even edit them before sending them out but now with iOS 18 you will be able to have automatic replies of course with the power of AI to your messages and emails as well. Now one really cool new feature coming to iOS 18 again powered by AI is the new ability for iOS to generate emojis based on what you're typing. As you probably know, right now on iOS 17 and other iOS versions previous to iOS 17, when you type something like a word here, ball, you can see you will have a few emoji suggestions. But what iOS 18 will be able to do is totally different. It will create emojis that you don't have actually on your keyboard. Emojis that are not available to you will be created by the power of AI and you will be able to send those emojis and those will be again created based on the text that you're typing. Now of course AI will be everywhere on iOS. Whether you're working with web pages, messages, even your notifications or emails, iOS 18 will be able to give you summaries of an any web page you want. That will happen also with your emails and the messages as well. And even notifications that you have missed maybe previously, it will give you a summary of your notifications. This will be an amazing feature to have and of course will save you a ton of time as you don't have to read through a ton of notifications, emails or even messages, you will get a summary automatically generated by the new AI features coming to the new iOS 18. Voice memos are also getting new AI features. Well, with these new AI features, the voice memo app of iOS will be able to transcribe your recordings. So you basically have your recordings here. It will put them into words. So transcribing any recording you want, have your recording as text, which of course you can use pretty much anywhere you want. This will be great, maybe taking notes or something like that, maybe on a lecture or something like that, you can just record it and then you get the full transcription here, which then lets you use that transcription anywhere you want on your iOS device. Now, something I'm really excited about on iOS 18 is the new editing features that are coming to the Photos app. Now, with the Photos app on iOS 18, you will also have included AI features. Now with these AI features, you will be able to do way more on the Photos app, like removing objects, erasing objects from pictures. That's really cool. Nowadays, you will have to have a third party app in order to do that. But with AI, I, with AI on iOS 18, that will be done natively on the Photos app. Also, you're getting a lot more options when it comes to customizing and editing your pictures, like the ability to optimize colors, all that, again, all that is done with the power of AI, which will make this a great, great place to edit your pictures. Now, of course, as you probably have heard even before, also Safari is getting a lot of new improvements with AI. You will get an improved web search with the help of AI. This should mean that there will be way more relevant results for any of your searches alongside with ability to get quick summaries, of course, for any website that you search on on Safari with iOS 18. And now we're moving to a really interesting part, something that hasn't changed on iOS for years, and that's the home screen. Now, there will be a lot of changes and a lot more customiz customization options 
on the home screen with iOS 18. And here we have like basically something what it could look like. First of all, there will be a feature that will allow you to basically place your apps anywhere you want on the home screen. As you know, on iOS, right now you cannot place the apps anywhere you want i can try to place this app here it will automatically readjust itself right there but with ios 18 you can just place the apps anywhere you want and finally apple will also allow you to customize the home screen icons even though there will be no like themes you cannot change themes but you will be able to actually change the color of the icons on the home screen to match like a theme you want. So let's say you want to have all your social apps with maybe an orange color, you can do that. You want to have, let's say, maybe the third party apps with a black color, you can do that. Or let's say the music app, entertainment apps, you want to have all of them with a pink color, you can just do that like this. We'll have to wait and see how Apple will implement this and how easy it will be. It probably will be fairly easy to do that through the settings app but we should get the ability to customize the colors of the icons as well as place the icons anywhere we want on the home screen. Now with iOS 18, there will be a ton of improvements, a ton of new features under the accessibility features. These have actually been all confirmed by Apple and are coming to iOS 18. Now, first of them will be eye tracking. This will be a great feature and will be helpful for a ton of people. It allows you to control your iPhone basically simply by using your eyes. With the power of the front facing camera, it will detect your eyes, will have your focus and everything, and you will be able to open anything, do anything on your iPhone just by looking at the items on the home screen of your iPhone. Again, this will be very, very helpful for a ton of people. Also, we're getting a new feature for the music. It is called Music Haptics, basically giving you a haptic feedback of the music you're listening to. Again, this will help a ton of people basically have a feel of the music they're listening to. Now, one thing I'm really excited about is vocal shortcuts. Vocal shortcuts are coming to iOS 18 as well, and this will be very, very useful. So with the vocal shortcuts, you will be able to create like, let's say a word, which when you say it will actually trigger an action. Now we have currently a voice control here. If you just like dive into this and customize this, you can basically maybe do something similar, but this will be totally different. It will help you just do pretty much anything on iOS simply by using words. Whether you want to open an app or maybe lock your device or do something like that, you can just give that command that you set on the settings and it will perform that action for you. There will also be a ton of new voices for voiceover. So if you use voiceover on your iPhone, expect to have new voices. Also, there will be a new reader mode for the magnifier. So if you use the magnifier on iOS, you will have a reader mode, which will be able to detect text so you can easier read it. And also launch detection mode will be now on the action button. So if you have an iPhone that features an action button, whether that will be the iPhone 15 Pro or the 15 Pro Max or the new iPhones that will be released alongside iOS 18 when it releases to the public, you will have the ability to launch the detection mode directly from the action button. Hover typing is also something coming to iOS 18. So basically, you know, when you try to place the cursor somewhere, you can see that zoom right there. This is something similar, but this will be helpful again for a ton of people because when you're typing, you will see a larger text here. So basically what you're typing will be displayed here, but it will be zoomed in so you see better what you're typing and whether you're making any mistakes or not. That again, very, very useful. The assistive touch on iOS 18 is also getting a new feature. So with assistive touch on iOS 18, you will now get a virtual trackpad. This is something also very useful. Now, Apple is just great with these access accessibility features. Again, a lot of people will take advantage of the new iOS 18. And of course, all these 
cool new features that are coming especially to accessibility another one that is coming and this one will work with carplay is vehicle motion it will help you reduce motion sickness when you're on the car of course with the assistance of carplay now with ios 18 and the integration of ai there will be a ton of improvements to Siri as well of course expect Siri to be way better but there will be also a way more natural voice for Siri on iOS 18 another improvement is on the maps app finally we're getting custom routes on the maps app with iOS 18 so you want to go from a place to another you will have the suggestion suggested roads by Apple, but you can also create your own custom road. And math is coming to the notes app as well. This will be a great addition to the notes app. Now Apple has lately with iOS 16 and 17 improved the notes app a lot. I really like this one. And of course, this is my to go app when it comes to taking notes. Now you will have maps on it as well. And we're getting also a lot of improvements on the calculator app and the integration with the notes app so you will basically be able to add your calculations from here to any of your notes and what's really exciting finally the calculator app is coming to ipad i don't know why apple had to wait this long for this to happen but finally if you own an ipad you will be able to have the stock calculator app of ios so these are more than 20 new features that are coming to ios 18. Now the release date for iOS 18, we know it will be June 10th. That will be of course the first dev beta. Then after that, probably like five to six weeks, somewhere here on the 15th or 22nd of July, you can expect Apple to release the first public beta of iOS 18. Now, as far as the supported devices go for iOS 18, there are a ton of like mixed rumors. I think we have to wait for the official announcement by Apple to see whether all devices are currently supported by iOS 17 will also be supported. But my guess is that they might be the only devices that might actually be excluded are the current like 10s and the 10s Max, which have the older chip, of course, and the iPhone 11. Those might be excluded. Otherwise, you can expect all the other devices to actually support iOS 18. So when it once it comes out, June 10th, beta one, should you update or not? Well, if you're planning to update to iOS 18 on your main device, the device that you use regularly during the day, I would suggest that you wait at least for the second beta because it's a big update, a lot of new features, then it might be a bit messy. If you have like just one device, you don't have a test device, I would suggest that you wait a bit or just wait for the public beta release of iOS 18. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. And of course, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you on the next one.